Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is part 9 of my Life is Strange Let's Play. Before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, this would be great help and without further ado, let's jump right into the game. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. <laughs> Enter the Vortex Club. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Oh great, they want us to go around and look for things. Hey Courtney. Ciao Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. So I actually get to rewind dress code. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send cool. you the party info later. Back to the list. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Principal Wells. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? Oh. No, I mean, I don't have anything to tell you. More secrets. Now, excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. Warren, sit down, science. I'm in the sci-fi lab. Now I'm no Scoringer's skitty. See you soon. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? 
the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Um, not now. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Well, we're not going into class. We're gonna go to Warren first. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. And yours might be the one that decided. Photos. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. Why? I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Uh, potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Uh, okay. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. Experiment. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. So chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Oh, that was fun helping Warren. Mind. He's pretty cute. We have last picture, or we possibly skipped a picture. Show me the look. Alisa? Oh, photo. Resolution Revolution. So that's the last picture. Oh, and I also got Lab Master, I guess for finishing all of them. Can I speak to her? Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Oh. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! There's a group Bring picture, out the so claws. Cute. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Scary. Assholes. Oh, 
Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over I the world. I guess Kate will miss class now. Usually. I'm worried about her. In class, Max. Put that away. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiroskiro. That Ooh, beautiful what? word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. Ah, is it like Italian? It's Jaros basic Kuro? yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Okay, it seems like something very fun is about to happen, so I will stop right here. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I will see you on the next one, which will be tomorrow and should be very fun. Bye-bye.